What I thought I would do is um, put a video together which shows an actual use case of Science Live. Um, and you might have seen some of our content that shows uh, mini boards with a video playing in the background. And you might, hopefully, you're thinking, that looks really good. How can um, I recreate that? So it's quite simple, just a few steps. What we need to do is start off with um, a message manager template. Go into here. Um, what we'll do first is create the actual menu board. So let's go to a new feed. I'm going to call it screen two menu board. Add an item. Don't need to give that any information, just click add media. You can either upload a new piece of um, media or use something that's already in your library. It's already in the library. Not quite the right page, so if I just jump to the next page. Yeah, picture I want is that one. Let's double click on it. Shows me a quick um, preview. Click edit. And that'll take me into the message manager template editor. What I can then start doing is setting out my menu board. So we can see the zones and areas that we've got where we're going to want to put things. If I start off with chicken royal, add some text that's going to come up way too big so we can just change our size in here, drop it down to that's still too big, 30. Drag out the box so that the text's all on one line. A little bit. And drag that onto the menu. Put that here. And change the colour. So we don't want it black. Want that to be white, so choose white. Oh, transparent. Uh, white. And then what we want to do next is add the price for that one. So chicken well is two pound fifty. Quite a cheap burger, really. Again, got the size in, so just drop that in at thirty. I know the hex code, so do that right there. Can't see it because we're on the white background, so we'll drag that onto pricing onto our mini board. We can see it there. Drag that out again so that it's uh, all on one line. And that's it. So we would carry on and we'd carry on putting on each of our products and then the price. And then into the different sections, we could put our drinks at the bottom here and the sides over here on the left, on the right. I won't go through each of those. You can see what we were doing to um, create them. If we click save, that just saves that message manager template editor. Um, and then what we can do is go into our asset library. Let's click on playlist creator. And now we're in the asset library. If I click on recently added, that message manager template will have automatically been added to my library. So I can take that out Drag it onto the timeline. Just play it to length, get given some um, general media RSS questions. Just click save, because you don't need to do anything special. Um, I'm going to set it so that this plays for 60 seconds. It wouldn't really matter because of what we're doing. Um, all it does is just keep playing the same image over and over again. So if I save that playlist, that's our top layer playlist. So screen to top layer, and save that. Uh, 
then what we'll do is we'll start and we'll create our layout. So to do the um, transparent background, what we do is we create a layer, a layout which has two layers. Both of them are the full size of the, the screen, so effectively 1920 by 1080, so it'd be full HD, if that's the resolution for your screen. You create two zones on it, one on top of the other, um, and something that we added in a recent update was the ability to be able to actually publish to both of those zones. So now when you publish, and I'll show you that in a minute, you can say, well, I want video in the background and um, the menu board in, in the foreground. So what we'll do is create a new template. Gives us 1920 by 1080 in the landscape. Perfect, that's what we want. We'll create a layout because we want a blank one. We go to the content zones, We've got schedulable zones, and we want two of those, so we'll drag it on. And let's just drag this out. Hundred percent. So that's that. Now I can go back to content zones and do exactly the same thing again. Drag another schedulable zone on. Drag that out again. We are borders and full screen. So that's our layout done. Nice and simple. Let's go back to the home tab and save. If we say screen to menu. Actually, if we were doing this on multiple menus, we wouldn't need to create individual ones. We could just reuse the same layout over and over again. So that's the layout created. And we just need to now create our playlist for the video. We didn't do that earlier. So um, now we're in the playlist creator. We just need to go and find our video that we want as a background. So we've got that here, just drag it onto the timeline and that will automatically set its duration to the left of the video. Save the playlist, so screen to background. Save that. And then we've got our two playlists created. So that's our content created. Now all we need to do is publish it. So go to the publish, schedule. Has to be a schedule because it's a layout can't um, publish layouts as default content. Right, so we don't want it as an interrupt, so as a schedule, publish it so it starts now and then runs until further notice. It's a layout, so we choose that. Bring us up into the layout browser, go to recently added, and then it's the one that we created. So select that, double click on it. And that gives us this. We can see the two zones. And if we click on each one, we can see that they're, they're over the top of each other. So we can just double click on one of these. Number one is the background. So for the duration of the layout, recently added. And this is our playlist that we're selecting. So the screen to background. Scheduling complete, because that's all we want in there. And then double click on again so that we can do the foreground and you can see in the background there's that video uh, that video so we now we choose our other one so recently added we've got screen to top layer scheduling complete and that's got our RSS feed now on the top layer that's our layout done click OK and then we're ready to select a player to publish it to so if I select a player, um, and then I can show you actually coming up on the screen. So I'm going to choose this one. It's yellow just because um, it's saying that the resolution doesn't match the resolution of the screen, but that's fine because it will just resize and sort itself out. So choose that, click publish, and away we go. And what we can see is the screen's now going to update with the latest content, show our menu board. And we can see on the left-hand side we've got a little burger video that's showing different burgers. You can see the chips on the sides just zooming in and out. And what we'll also see is the Coke filling up and then emptying, filling up and emptying just to give a bit of action.